This is, according to AL.com, a federal judge issued a restraining order to keep Alabama abortion clinics open, and and this is their article. United States District Judge uh, Myron Thompson, Myron Thompson, I don't know what it is, I can't read today. Myron Thompson, the same judge who blocked Alabama's abortion ban from going into effect in November 2019. Oh yeah, I'm sure that guy has no political agenda whatsoever. I'm sure he's a completely impartial federal judge. He ordered in a court filing Monday night that the March 27th order by the Alabama Department of Public Health postponing non-emergency medical procedures would not apply to abortion clinics. Look, regardless, you could be the most pro-choice person out there. I don't see how you can make a case that an abortion is not an elective procedure. I mean, by definition, it is a medical procedure that you elect to have. I fail to see how this is in any way something that would be deemed essential medical procedure. And when you can't even go to the dentist to have a cavity filled in because of this state order, but you can go to murder your child, we have our priorities really screwed up as a society if that is the case. This is his rationale for his decision. Quote, Despite the serious conditions described by defendants and the dire need for medical equipment across the United States, the benefits of some potential increase in the availability of equipment, some of which may be ill-suited for the task of disease containment, do not outweigh the serious and in some cases permanent harms imposed by the denial of an individual's right to privacy, Judge Myron Thompson wrote in a court filing. So the individual's right to privacy, in case you're wondering, that's a liberal code for a right to kill your baby. That's basically what it's been for about 50 years now, because that's the language of Roe v. Wade. And so when they write that, what they're actually saying is the right to murder your child in the womb. That's what they're talking about, because it's a derivative right from a derivative right. And I won't go into all the history of Roe v. Wade and and how it came about, but essentially, suffice it to say that that's what he's saying there. So, apparently, it's far too dangerous, and and everything has to go on hold, and medical procedures, any kind of elective procedure at all, something that, in other words, is not life-threatening or something that needs to be taken of taken care of very quickly, those all have to halt, well, except, of course, abortions. I mean, this judge literally just created a special carve-out specifically for abortions and nothing else. That's astounding. That you have judges in this country and the left is so far on this train, so far down this road, and they have chosen the hill that they want to die on to where we're okay with shutting down the entirety of society, we're okay with tanking the economy, because this thing is is such a big deal, and and there's some debate as to whether or not it really should be done or how to handle that. This is something that I don't understand not having bipartisan agreement on. Like, even if you're incredibly in favor of abortion, and I think that, frankly, you're a horrible human being if you are, but I would at least have some monicum of respect for you saying, well, yeah, but it is an elective medical procedure, and we probably don't need to be doing this in the middle of, you know... I mean, think about this. The left is constantly berating people that are pro-life, that want to actually protect children in the room, for saying they're a bunch of crazy religious zealots that are closed-minded, and they're just clinging to their ideology regardless of the circumstances surrounding it. But here we have Christians, devout Christians, people that never miss a church service, uh, I mean, are there every single time, that people that, you know, actually live out the gospel. It's not just something that they do a couple times a year on the high holidays. Saying, yeah, we'll we'll close church service and we'll figure out a way to do it over the internet. They're working around it. But these people are saying, nope, we're not going to halt it at all. Don't care what the risk is. Doesn't matter to us. Don't, Don't care that there's a order in place. We're going to continue to do it. That just absolutely blows my mind. That we're the religious zealots, and we're adjusting around the order, and they're saying, nope, full steam ahead, we're not even going to slow it down. But we're the ones that are are crazy and extreme, apparently. 
So that is evidently where it stands. And it goes on to say, the temporary restraining order will last until April 13th, 2020, at 5 p.m., when the court will reconsider the order in the light of the defendant's responses. I know it comes as no surprise. The American Civil Liberties Union of Alabama earlier Monday had filed an emergency request, so that's how this came about, the ACLU, in federal court to prevent Alabama from using the COVID-19 pandemic to prevent people from obtaining an abortion. Now, I, you know, everybody knows how I feel about abortion, and as horrible as this virus is, if it saves some babies' lives, that would be a silver lining, a good outcome to a really bad situation. But even if you remove that from it, the idea that they are willing to go full steam ahead on this thing, and they are willing to die on this hill and say, no, we, we will not even slow this thing down. We're going to specifically carve out a special exception just for this one medical procedure that is elective. None of the others are. Nobody else you know, gets this exception. Just people that are performing abortions is absolutely sickening. This is the thing that they refuse to budge on. On some political issues, it, it makes sense to be an absolutionist. On some political issues, I understand the logic. Even if I wind up disagreeing with the conclusion, I can see the logic for why you don't want to budge an inch on something. I do not understand this one, because it's not even something that would be permanent, and it's not even something that is specifically singling them out. It's not as though Governor Ivey, you know, left it vague, or specifically said, oh, and by the way, we're closing down abortion clinics. The language of the order is, and, and whether you agree with the order or not, I have some issues with it, and we already talked about that, but it's elective medical procedures are to be halted. But here we have a federal judge and the ACLU saying, we're going to have this special carve out just for abortions and nothing else. This will be the only elective medical procedure that we're going to allow, and the women's ability to kill their children, that's something that just cannot be abridged. It's so strange that killing babies is like the one thing they don't want to budge an inch on. I think that says an awful lot about where their priorities are. <laughs> Ever wonder where Superman gets his incredible powers? Some people say it's the yellow son of Earth, but I think it's because he subscribes to this channel and likes my videos. Now, I'm not saying that if you subscribe to my channel you'll necessarily wake up tomorrow as a super strong, nearly invincible alien, but it definitely doesn't hurt your chances. <laughs>